Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be opening up the Zoeva Share Your Radiance Brush Vault. And this is the 12 makeup brushes. Um, and it just looks like this. It's really, really pretty. It's got a little, looks like a little hat box. It's very glittery. Um, so I've been looking to get some Zoeva brushes for quite a while now. And I keep looking at all the sets and thinking, oh, they're really, really pretty. And I just never, ever buy them. And then when I saw this, I thought, Do you know what? I'm opening up advent calendars. This is like, almost like a, a brush advent calendar. So I thought, Do you know what? Why not? Let's get it. So I ordered mine from Look Fantastic. Um, and it was £78, I think. Which I don't think is bad when you look at the prices of her brush sets. Um, so yes, I think that's a decent price. It's really, really pretty. It's all brown and burgundy and gold and looks very luxe and it's got all the glitter on it and it looks like a big sort of snowflake. I don't really know if you can see it on camera, but it looks like a snowflake. Um, on the back, it tells you what brushes you get with it. Um, off the bat, really, really like it. Now, this didn't come in any like cellophane packaging or anything. And one thing that I have noticed is like on the bottom there, it's a bit scuffed. And then, where was it there? If you can see, like it's got some like black marks on it. So I don't know if it's like just been sitting in a warehouse for quite a while. Um, but yeah, so before I get into unboxing this, um, please don't forget to subscribe. Um, hit the bell down below so that you'll know whenever I'm uploading. Um, also, if there's any calendars that you want to see me unbox or even subscription boxes or anything like that, any makeup looks, any first impression products, anything like that, let me know down in the comments down below and I'll be sure to um, try my best to get stuff for you. Um, but yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this um, calendar thing, vault, whatever you want to call it. So we open it up like this. And on the inside, it's all nice and glittery. And then it says, share your radiance. Um, so it's just, and you could you could keep this, even if you just kept this bit and like put some flowers in it, like that's really, really pretty. Um, but yeah, so inside we've got 12 brushes and they're all numbered one to 12. Um, so we will go on and have a look. So number one, so we've got the 104 buffer brush. So it just looks like that. This personally for me is my favourite type of foundation brush. Um, I just think that they're really, really nicely, densely packed. Um, you can stipple, you can blend. I just love these kind of um, foundation brushes. So yeah, and I just love because you can get all the way in as well because it's got the sharp pointy corners, not pointy corners, but the sharp edges. So yeah, really, really happy with that. Number two is this one here. So in number two, we have got the 134 Lux Powder Fusion Brush. Um, so it just looks like this. I would use this as a highlighter brush. Um, again, it's the same as my highlighter brush, except mine's Morphe, not Zoeva. Um, it's maybe a little thinner than mine, actually. And it does feel, they feel like natural hair. Is it natural hair? Let me have a look. Oh, so it's natural synthetic hair. And the first one is pure synthetic hair. So yeah, so really, really happy with that. Um, and again, I'm really, really loving the colour scheme. Very berry, very winter, very festive. Really, really loving that. Number three now. This one here. So in door number three. And all these boxes as well are magnetic. So I like that. So you could keep these if you really wanted to. I'm not going to keep them, but you could. Um, so in door number three, we have got the 228 Lux Crease Brush. Um, so it just looks like that. Really, really pretty. So I would use this for kind of all over colour on the lid. Really, really like it. Or you could contour down the nose with it. Entirely up to you. And that again is the natural synthetic hair. Number four is this one here. So behind number four we have got the 142 concealer buffer so that's just a really nice little concealer brush um can go right under the eyes get all the way into the inner corner with it um or you could maybe carve out not carve out your brows but you know blend in eyeshadow primer something like that 
really really nice you could even use it for contour if you only got like like quite a sharp contour or down your nose under your lip something like that obviously with brushes they do tell you what they're for but you can use them as well however you like there's no rules guys no rules number five is this one so in number five and when i last checked this was still available so i will link this down below as well so behind number five we've got a Lux petite crease brush so that just looks like that so for this i would use it to get any detail work right on the crease of my eyelid really really like it or for the inner corner you could use it for that or for underneath your eye so many possibilities with a brush like this number six now so behind number six we've got the 225 Lux eye blender so it's a smaller blending brush again i would use this either for all over color or i would use it to diffuse the edges of whatever color i have been using so again really really nice versatile brush or contour entirely up to you number six are we on six or are we on seven number seven is this one here so in box number seven we have got a face shape so this is definitely a contour brush um it's not the kind of contour brush that i personally use but um you could use this if you're cream contouring um just down here chisel out your cheekbones uh, maybe chisel out around this kind of area um you could use it maybe for highlight if you like a denser brush like this um i don't personally use these brushes but um it is always handy to have them in my collection just in case i need a brush like this um number eight this one here behind door number eight we've got a flat shader brush and um, so it's actually called the Lux eye shader so it just looks like that it's a nice flat brush for these i like to use these to get right on the outer corner to pack on color um, or to fan it all up because it's a very flat brush so to fan everything out to give myself a wing and uh, make the look a little bit more dramatic but yeah really really like that brush number nine so in number nine this bit here kind of gives me like charlotte tilbury vibes not gonna lie um but yeah in number nine we have got the brow line it's a very odd little tiny stumpy brush i don't think i would use that for brows although i suppose you could get very precise with it because it's so so small and dense and thin um or you could use it for liner entirely up to you that's a really unusual brush i've never seen one like that before i would definitely give that a go because that looks quite hmm, intriguing number 10 in number 10 we have got the Lux pencil brush it just looks like that just a standard pencil brush i personally like to use these for um brow highlight in a corner highlight um under the lash line to smoke out any um like liner that you want to put on top something like that that's what i personally like to use these brushes for um or if you want if you're doing like really really intricate detail work you can get right into the crease with the brush like that number 11 now only two left behind number 11 we have got the wing liner brush this is a really again a really unusual brush because like look how kind of long it is you could get a really good precise wing with a brush like this um yeah you could get really really precise with a brush like this again not a brush that i have in my collection so definitely happy to see that and definitely like can't wait to give that a go because it looks so unusual i'm excited for that one and then the last one is number 12 and then in number 12 we have got the 106 powder brush so it just looks like that just a nice big powder brush i personally like to use these either for packing on powder all over the face or um to blush just a nice little flush of color on the cheeks so yeah so i'll just tell you a little bit about the brushes so the first one is pure synthetic hair applies and blends foundation powder and mineral makeup um, number two the Lux powder fusion brush 
um, natural synthetic hair blend, contours, sets, highlights and blend sh eyeshadow. Uh, number three, the Lux Crease Brush is a natural synthetic hair blend. It blends and shades eyeshadow in the crease. Number four, the Concealer Buffer is a pure synthetic hair. Um, applies and blends concealer. Two, three, one, the Lux Petite Crease Brush. Um, it's natural synthetic hair blend. Um, accentuates and blends in the crease. The Lux Eye Blender, um, natural synthetic hair blend, seamlessly blends eyeshadow. Um, the Face Shaping Brush, um, pure synthetic hair, contours the face shape with cream and powder products. Um, the Lux Smoky Shader Brush, natural synthetic hair blend, shades and blends with a smoky effect. Um, the Brow Line, pure synthetic hair, flawlessly applies cream and powder, uh, powder eyebrow products. That's one that I'm ex excited for. Um, the Lux Pencil Brush, um, natural synthetic hair blend, precisely shades and smooths eyeshadow. And then the Wing Liner Brush says pure synthetic hair, creates detailed eyeliner strokes and a perfect wing. And then the last one is the Powder Brush and that says it applies loose and pressed powder. So guys, I'm really, really excited to, tr to use these brushes because like I said, Zoeva is a brand that I've been it's, it's not expensive, it's probably on par with Morphe um, and I've, I look at her brush collections all the time and I can never decide which one that I want, hence why I decided to buy this because I thought well it would fit well with the little series that I'm doing on my channel. Um, so yeah and again with this box it just looks really pretty, you can keep it like that and have it out on display or you can take this off, get rid of that bit and you can keep that, maybe put it that way and just pop some flowers in there or something. Or you could just use it as a brush pot. It's entirely up to you. But yeah, I really, really like this. I think it's cute. I don't know if it's a calendar per se, um, but it's got boxes in it and the numbered 1 to 12. So I thought, why not add it into this? Um, so anyway, guys, what are your thoughts on this um, calendar box thing? whatever you want to call it, uh, vault, I suppose. What are, your, what are your thoughts on this? For £78, do you think it's worth it? I personally do when you look at her other brushes. And if I'm honest, I don't mind paying a little bit more for brushes because they do last a lot longer than products. Um, so yes, I personally think that it's worth it. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Um, and yeah, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thumbs up this video if you've liked it. Leave me any video suggestions down below because I'm always open to video suggestions. Um, and yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.